We as colonists live happy. We are represented and we have a say in our government because we believe in a tradition of liberty. We still do, but that's being taken away. I'm getting ahead of myself. In order to talk about that, I have to talk about the first traditions of liberty. I'm glad we all agree on these new changes for the town. Our self-government seemed to be working out. John Peter Zanger was tried for libel, and now the definition of libel has changed forever. Everybody has the freedom to print whatever they think is true. Yay! Religion has declined. You must commit to God to save your soul. <gasps> People began to have different ideas about government during the Enlightenment as they began to learn about natural rights and separation of power and challenged the government's ideals. I am John Salk, and I believe that all people have natural rights. Natural rights like the right to life, liberty, and your own property. Nobody can take those rights away from you. But the king has all power. He's the one who gives rights, and he was chosen by God. It's called divine rights. Divine rights? Divine rights! Bah humbug! I believe in natural rights, rights that are given to you by God. People's government should protect their rights, and if they don't, we overthrow the government! We have rights given to us by God, and they can never be taken away. Yay! We were happy, and then... This happened. I've got no money. I know. I'll tax all the colonies too. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. La 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 la. I love my home. We're coming in your house, and you can't say no. What? You can't take away my liberty. According to the king, I can, and I will. Hey, that doesn't have a stamp. You need to pay the tax. We'll search for more on tax stuff. Since when? I have never paid taxes for paper, and I'll never will. <laughs> oh, I couldn't find anything. Have fun cleaning it up. <laughs> I hate the towns in Axe. My house is in ruins. How will I pay for this? Psst, do you want to join a rebel group with me? John Locke had taught the colonists that they had natural rights that could not be taken away. But when the British started to do things that the colonists believed were imposing on their property, liberty, and life, this inspired them to write documents like the Declaration of Independence and Common Sense. This is ridiculous. How can you not see that natural order shows that we cannot be governed by a tiny little island on the other side of nowhere? I must act. I know. I'll write a book to knock some common sense into the colonists' heads. <laughs> Good one, T-Pain. We have the right to overthrow a government that does not care for its people's rights. Even if this is treason, it is only done because the British care none for us, only their money. Our new government can never have a king who rules over all. Instead, it must have three separate branches of power, each who support each other with a specific part of government that each controls. This way, our new government will be dedicated to the people and never to the power. Oh, the colonies will be back. They could never live without me. As the colonists began to get ready for war against the British, they realized that they needed a competent army and help because they could never win this alone. Washington, your prowess in battle and success are very well known. We have decided you will lead the Continental Army. Me? Really? I didn't expect this. It's not like I've been wearing a full military uniform this entire time. A couple of important battles later... Pierre, you hate the British as much as we do. Will you join us so that we can rebel against them and be a separate country? You will need to prove yourself. We can't fight for you. We will not join you now, but possibly in the future. Even though we lost Philadelphia and we have to stay in this tiny place throughout the cold, bitter winter, and people are dying left and right, I will stand with you. And I even brought my wife, Martha! Hi! Yay! Look at what we have won. We are impressed. Let us ally together. Yay. We have them surrounded. The British must surrender. And we can get Cornwallis. Good job, guys. Yeah. 
I must surrender. The colonies will have won. But even if we can't beat them, might as well spite them. I'll be sick for the surrender ceremony. Well, that didn't work out so well. I want my sword back! The revolution's happening and you can't miss it. Revolution, the movie, coming soon to theaters nowhere near you.